the greenhouse, first of all. And uh, here are some of my tomatoes. The ones uh, here, these are my F1 varieties. And then just here, these are the heirlooms that I'm hoping to do some grafting with some of them. Um, next to them, we have some celery nearest to us, then some sage and some um, rosemary at the back. There we've got some condor seed potatoes. Uh, they're still to go in, hopefully today or tomorrow. Uh, some beets there that I've just sown, uh, different uh, varieties. And then I've got some condor here, uh, which are going to be planted. I've taken, you can see where I've taken the chits off this one. I just left one and also the chits off this one here. Um, I have planted those chits and I'll show you those in a second. Uh, dahlias, they're in some uh, damp compost. Uh, single seed potato challenge, you can just see they're starting to move. There's three of those on nearest me just starting to put up some molehills. Uh, nothing on the other two yet. And some more dahlias, they're just starting to come. I could take cuttings off those. Apparently the, the, the colour of the flowers is a lot better from the, the cuttings rather than the actual tubers itself. If you see at the back, you can just see that they're just starting to get away. Carrots, they're coming on nicely. You saw me sow those in the buckets. Um, first early, I've just got two buckets in here. They will go into the polytunnel. Once we get this week out of the way, we've got some frost forecast uh, up to minus three or four for us and cold again. So I'm just holding back on everything. Some more celery there on the left, and then I've got some uh, curly parsley and flat leaf parsley. Uh, some lemongrass and my peppers at the back. They're nearly due for potting on again. I shall pot them on once more before they go into their final position. Uh, just here I have my uh, single seed challenge. That's my loafer. And... Uh, Quite a pretty plant actually, um, and that's growing well. That's ready to be potted on once more. I have some aubergines there, a couple, only want a couple of aubergines. And uh, then these here are the ones, uh, the sweet peppers, the bull's horn uh, type ox horn, and uh, they're coming on well. Good germination and they're, they're, they're growing well. If you look at the others, they're catching up with the ones that I sowed probably a month earlier than what these were. And uh, here are some of the rootstock for my grafting um, tomatoes, hopefully. They're very slow, they were slow to germinate. Some of them took over 10 days. I thought they would have been through a bit earlier than that. Uh, just there I have some celeriac. Um, I've done some with vermiculite on top. And I've sown some more without the vermiculite. Uh, just at the back there, I've got some Russian tarragon coming through. These are the uh, chits off the condor, and it looks like they're just starting to uh, push the soil up. The back three over there, I've got some yak on. Uh, there's some shoots on those. They seem to be coming up. And uh, some mint and some um, chives at the back there. Coriander, some spring onions, and there's a Russian tarragon that I did earlier. That's the other variety of rootstock for the tomato grafting. And um, those there are some of my F1s as well. Um, these propagators, uh, I'm just using this one at the moment, a small one. I've got uh, cutting celery in the one and celeriac in the other and uh, some sweet potatoes there, hoping to get some um, slips off those. And that's just about all that's in the greenhouse. Um, just trying to keep it down to a minimum because it is still, uh, I know it's only the end of March, but we've got some bad weather coming up. So I haven't done too much in the garden, but I'll just show you. The dwarf daffodils now are uh, just uh, going backwards now. They, they flowered and uh, finished now. And the grape hyacinths have taken over 
and um, I did listen to what the viewers said and I put all my herbs into pots and took them out of the, the raised uh, beds there and uh, see how they come on. Uh, the um, clematis is starting to shoot. Hopefully that will cover the oil tank. Uh, tulips are just dying back now. And uh, I've sorted out my strawberry beds and put some fresh compost on. And uh, the next day, the mole's been through, as you can see, all the way through that bed. Uh, hasn't touched the one over there. Some more grape hyacinths here. Sweet peas have all been tied in again. And I've taken all the side shoots off and the tendrils. And um, they seem to have taken off now. They, I can see a difference in those um, after planting them out. Uh, I am uh, hooking um, fleece around those at night when we get a frost. And uh, touch wood, everyone seems to have taken. So uh, hopefully they, will, they won't look back now. Just look after them this week with the frost that we've got coming. And the uh, wild uh, flower bed. I don't know if that picking that up, but uh, the seeds are coming through here. Um, they're germinating. I am covering up, covering them up when we get a frost. Uh, but they seem to be uh, doing what they were supposed to be doing. Uh, I do like those, and so do the bees. The bees have been all over those. And there's uh, not much going on in the polytunnel at all. Um, I've got some runner beans there and um, the bottom lot of flowers haven't set because there was no insects to pollinate them but I have had both doors open front and back and I have seen bees on them some of them have been biting the back of the flowers but I have seen some going in uh, there are some there that look like possibly they might have um, pollinated uh, they look good plants but um, I probably won't do them in here again I'll probably end up doing peas in here if I can. Uh, some radish there and some spring onions. And that is pretty much all I've got sown in here. There's some brassicas there, various different varieties. And uh, here I've got some chicory, uh, some lettuce, some coriander. Um, some sunflowers there, not very good germination on those. Uh, some leeks. Uh, different varieties of lettuce there, some spring onions, uh, seed onions which are Zabroom and Long Red Florence and there is another red variety there. Um, onion sets, uh, Steron and Red Baron, some more leeks there and some more sunflowers here. And uh, if I just take you out through here. Now on my rhubarb, um, I sowed, th these were planted, sown myself from seed, uh, four of them. You can see the seed, same happened last year. The, all those seed heads, well they need to come off as soon as you see them. And uh, that's all come off that one plant. And there's the seed heads off that one there. And uh, they did the same last year and I thought they weren't gonna do much good. But once they took the seed heads off, the uh, rhubarb seemed to uh, pick up and then throw out a lot of um, new sticks. We've picked none of this now and this is its third year. One year in the pot, one year in the ground, and then this is the beginning of its third year. So we're hoping to get some pickings off these. And there's the ones off this one here, the seed heads, and then some seed buds off that one there. So if you see your seed heads on the rhubarb, get them off straight away. And uh, frogs, uh, tadpoles are swimming about in the pond now. Made one big mistake with the pond. Um, we got two goldfish, and uh, I think the uh, goldfish poo is um, not doing the water any good. I think it's too much nitrogen in it. So um, we're going to try and cat with the. the goldfish come out at night so we're going to try and catch them with a net if we can 
and uh, either put them in a tank or see if anybody uh, wants them. They certainly won't uh, come to a sticky end. We shall uh, make sure that they are looked after, but uh, we're gonna try and get them out of the pond if we can. And uh, this raised uh, container, um, that's coming along nicely. The poppies are growing well in there as well as some other things. I planted poppy seeds in front of it as well. Uh, some, um, those are French shallots and spring onions. Spring onions don't look very well, but I think it's just the winter foliage dying back. Um, they have been in here all winter, no protection whatsoever. Uh, if we get just a handful of them, it'll be uh, a bit of an early crop. Uh, peas are just starting to come up, uh, a bit sporadic, but uh, they don't necessarily all get sown at the same depth. I'm, so I'm hoping there's a lot more to come yet. Uh, the mouse traps I don't set. I don't have them set during the day, because uh, many years ago I caught a wren in one, and uh, that upset me a bit. So I don't have them set during the day. I just set them at night. Broad beans. They're just starting outside. They're just starting to get the flowers on them, and uh, they're looking healthy and strong. The field beans. We've uh, had the tops off them three or four times, and. Uh, you can just see some flower buds on them. I might let some of those uh, go to seed and keep the seed for myself next year. Some more broad beans. Um, well, I shan't be doing them in that way. In a square again. And some field beans there. Field beans there. This was my carrot bed. That's still to be dug out and put into some more potato pots for the condor. Mixed in with some good uh, manure that I've got. Uh, two celeriac left there. I have I have another tub there for some more carrots. There I've sown my um, parsnips. I think there's 42 parsnips in that uh, tank. Uh, I'm, I'm giving them a bit of water on top every day, morning and night, uh, just so they don't dry out. Uh, that's a cage that I made for leeks. Uh, that'll be my leek bed. It's not very big, but we'd, uh, you know I'll get 30 odd leaks in there, believe it or not, and uh, hopefully that will stop the um, allium leaf miner, which I get every year in the leaks. And the only thing we have with our leaks, pretty much, is we'll have to pull them out all in one go and make soup with them. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll have leaks that will go through the winter this year. Uh, some garlic and uh, long shallots. Uh, next to the asparagus. The asparagus keeps putting shoots up already. It has been for quite a while and then the frost comes and burns them off. I don't think that's going to be a good thing for them really. I mean it's no different to me picking them and uh, I didn't really want to pick them this year. Just a few of the sweet peas that were left after my uh, me planting, just spares. Um, I might put a little big wham up in this part of the garden somewhere. Uh, potato pots which you've all seen. Those are some peas that I sowed to, to put in the polytunnel and germination wasn't very good so I've put them out here and I'll try and use those just for um, keeping for seed. I think if you keep picking your peas, uh, they get smaller, the next lot of pods are smaller and not quite so big uh, and then you save them at the end of the year so if you don't pick any and just let them go straight to seed I'm hoping that there'll be a better quality pea, perhaps a bit bigger pea for seed. There is shallots, uh, garlic that um, Nigel from Muddy Boots uh, gifted to me. I just can't think of the name at the moment. I must put a label on those. And the um, Jerusalem artichokes that I bought from the supermarket. They're popping their heads through now. Just remember to cover those because of the frost. So uh, they were bought from Sainsbury's. Um, a couple of quid for about nine tubers, something like that, I think. Uh, they're coming through. Some more field beans there. That is the broom uh, that I grew last year and I put three there to go to seed. So hopefully I can get my own seed and uh, have better germination than I've had this year with it. And uh, nearly at the end. The um, That's the only one that's got a bud on it out of all the raspberry canes that I planted. Uh, there's, I beg your pardon, there's one there with a bud on there, but otherwise 
there's nothing at all no show on anything in there so looking like they might be duds so i will be giving sutton's a ring but i'll give him just a little bit longer you've got to give him a chance to give him a chance to to come on it uh, still has been cold at night and um, there's some more uh, aristocrat shallots that's saved seed that's my own um, sets from last year and then some more uh, grey shallots the french shallots and uh, there's some elephant garlic and um, some ordinary garlic there the yellowing is pretty much really from the winter uh, the new leaves that are coming are seem pretty green so i'm not too worried about those and apart from uh, the new potatoes here that you've seen that's just about everything on the plot many thanks for watching enjoy your garden be aware of the frost this week don't uh, be uh, too hasty getting things out and try and get things under cover if you can uh, you don't want your hard work to go to waste take care everybody many thanks for watching bye